Okay, so this video is just a little bit of fun, really. So we all remember the Sun Val H3. I've done a number of videos of them over the past couple of months. It's actually just here, but I've removed it from its uh, from its case. So that's got the All Winner H3 processor on it, and by all rights, that CPU is well pretty much ancient by now by today's standards. But still, we can still do some pretty interesting things with it, and I've shown all sorts of different developments running on the Sunvel H3, although a lot of you people at home have had a lot of problems trying to get those things running on your boards. Something about um, the RAM not being up to scratch or something along those lines. Uh, mine works fine. I'm not entirely sure why that is. P possibly it was one of the first of the... Uh, on the first of the runs and um, they spent all the money on it and uh, decided to cheapen it on the rest of the production don't know but it's a shame but it's a, it is a big shame because i've got everything running on that linux i've got a um, retro orange pie running on this and that's a great development uh, i've done a video on that as well so it's a shame about that but never mind but anyway so what I've done over the last uh, two weeks is try to get hold of Sunvel. I've never done that before. I've never spoken to Sunvel. Normally, it's quite hard getting some of the firmware from these sort of people because there's no way to contact them really. So anyway, I've got contact in China. I got her to track them down and uh, get hold of this H3 firmware because the thing is, it is um, it's Nougat and that's what these ship with these H3 boards. So I thought, well, maybe we could get that running, possibly, on the B-Link X2, because that is a basically the same board as that Sunvel H3. So here I have my X2. Uh, try and get it into camera shot. So yeah, here I have my X2. This is about, it's coming up to about four years old now. I got this off a company called B-Link, and that's why it's called the B-Link X2. And uh, yeah, that was about four years ago now. And this was always meant to just be a box that was always going to run Android KitKat. And it, it's totally out of date. It's it's very useful now, really, apart from the likes of Retro Orange Pie and a few different things. Ambien runs really well on this box as well. That's a great development, although that's kind of came to an end as well. So I thought, well, let's take the, let's take the Sunvel H3 firmware and let's see if we can get it on this box. And here we are. It, it actually wrote no problems onto it. So the way we've done that, uh, the way I've done this is uh, I've just used Phoenix Card Maker, and that is a bit like Amwatric Burning Tool. And I've just written it onto the SD card and then burnt it onto the box. And that's all I've had to do, really. There's no tweaking that I've done personally to the particular firmware but you guys at home maybe you're into that sort of thing and you know how to navigate around um, modifying certain files and stuff like that you could maybe get this running a little bit better on your B-Link X2 uh, my Wi-Fi is not working I'll need to look into stuff like that but for now it's just a bit of a just a bit of a fun exercise to see if we get it running so this is taking this box which was essentially a dead box from running KitKat to now run Nougat and I have to say, there's no difference in the performance of this than there is on the Sunvel H3. Now, and that's not to say that the firmware is any good, because it was alright. It was, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so we've got it running. Now, the only problem is, like I said before, we haven't got Wi-Fi. But Ethernet runs, that's fine, so it doesn't really bother me too much. And now, if we go into my apps, we have now got... Cody 17.6 Krypton running on Android on this box and this would never have run it on KitKat obviously KitKat can't run the latest version of Cody but now we can so it's just a bit of fun really if you want to give it a go you're more than welcome to I want to leave the actual firmware link in the description below and uh, you and if you know how to use Phoenix card maker you can proceed and try it yourself but if you're after something if you're if you're really wanting this to replace a KitKat firmware and you're not entirely sure and you know what to do, you probably give it a miss. This is really for the guys at home that know what they're doing and just want to tinker around with it and see what they can see if they can get it working. But yeah, installed, no problems at all. And as far as I can tell, 
it runs just as well as the Sunvale H3 running. So yeah, quite interesting. Anyway, if you want to give it a go, that link will be in the description.